We've been hearing a lot about startups and unicorn startups lately. But what are they, actually? And how can we build our own startup business? Let's take a look. Startups should have a new perspective in business, and it should make a difference. You would need a repeatable, scalable, and profitable business model, and the ability to leverage digital tools for online business applications that could solve real existing problems. A startup was first known in the 90s from Silicon Valley, California. It was when the internet or the dot-com business flourished and companies like Amazon and Netscape were born. After the year 2000, there were a number of technology startups emerging, such as Facebook, Uber, Airbnb, Twitter, LinkedIn, Tesla, and Dropbox. These companies became world's leading names in a short period of time. A unicorn is the startup company that has grown or has scaled up into a large business with the value of over 1 billion US dollars or approximately 32 billion Thai baht. There are now over 790 unicorns worldwide, totaling to more than 2.5 trillion US dollars. In Southeast Asia, there are 23 unicorns such as Grab, Grojek, Traveloka, and Zilingo. In Thailand, the first unicorn is Flash Express, a logistics service company. A successful startup may not all be a unicorn. They can be at different scales from small to global. What then are the success factors for these companies? A startup business usually starts from finding business ideas, which may be the founder's passion, or from recognizing the society's needs or their pain point. The business should establish their own strength, integrate with innovative solutions, and develop a concrete business proposal. Next, you may proceed to developing a prototype. This is when a startup usually starts looking for funding. At this stage, the prospect investors are called angel investors, where they may provide seed funding. An angel investor can be a government sector, such as National Innovation Agency or NIA, National Science and Technology Development Agency or NASDA, and Digital Economy Promotion Agency or DEPA. Alternatively, startups can take part in accelerator campaigns as well. Apart from funding, another essential factor for startups is a working team with knowledge, skills, teamwork, passion, and the determination to reach the company's goal. Once the business is ready, startups may plan to scale up by fundraising at a different series, depending on the level of funding needs and the potential in expanding to regional markets in ASEAN or Southeast Asia. At this stage, Thai startups are fully supported along their path to reach the global market. This includes skill development, training, and consultation. DITP also supports startups to participate in pitching platforms, international markets and trade exhibitions, SMEs, proactive campaigns, and many other activities. The path to reach unicorn status for each startup is different. There are, of course, obstacles to face and overcome. However, if we are determined, we may be the next successful startup in the near future. DITP, Department of International Trade Promotion.